If you're somebody that's selling online on platforms, sales videos, webinars, offline events, Facebook Live, then understanding these three closes are going to be absolutely crucial if you want to be able to increase your conversions and if you want to have your audience wanting to take out their credit cards and invest in whatever it is that you have to offer, whether it's a software, whether it's a real estate product, whether it's investments, whether it's a physical product, digital product, program, coaching, uh, when you understand these three closes. Now, you see, these three closes are basically three closes that I've utilized in selling both online and offline. And if you give me the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can start applying these techniques as well. So I'm gonna head over to this slide deck over here and show you what I mean by how do you create this buyer frenzy where your audience, they're listening to you speak, present, and at the end of it all, would want to invest. How do you do that? How do you have them hanging on to your every word? So one of the things that I've been doing for a really long time before the whole lockdown happened, something that I enjoyed a lot, was speaking and doing keynotes. And one of the things, uh, this event over here was held in, this was in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. And for me to head over to Brazil is a 30 plus hour flight. And one of the things that the organizer asked me is how much what was my speaker fees and in order to get me onto this stage. And one of the things that I told the organizer is if I'm going to be away from my family for that entire weekend, the minimum I'm gonna, it, that's going to be required is $150,000 for me to speak there. And I remember this conversation uh, when I said my amount, there was this awkward silence and <laughs> the organizer like, yeah, that's, that's out of the question. You know, there's no way, we, that's way out of our budget and or maybe they didn't want to spend that budget on me. So I said, how about this? I'll make it even better. I will speak for free, but after speaking, I will make an offer. And in fact, I'll even split with you 50% of whatever it is that I sell on the stage. And uh, at this event, there was about 7,000 people there. It was a huge event. So the speaker was like, Wait a second, you, you, you mean the organizers were like, they were happy, right? It's like, well, we get you, you know, get you to speak for free. And on top of that, you know, you make an offer and then we'll get 50%. So they were happy. And at the end of it all, this is what it looked like. So at the end of it all, I made an offer and like there were like nine tables like this around the entire room. And it was, you know, absolute madness and chaos. Now, this thing over here, this, this is a marketing terminology called a table rush. A table rush in the world of speaking is how do you present an offer? Could be for a physical product, could be a digital product, could be for training, could be for a service. Um, but ultimately, how do you get people into this, this, this buying frenzy? And at the end of it all, we closed about 11% 11, 11 of the room for this offer. And the, the organizers, let's just say, that the sales generated uh, covered more than the expenses of the entire event. So this first thing here, you're probably thinking, so, you know, what does this have to do with anything? Well, everything. It's because ultimately, if you want to be able to sell anything online, whether it's through a sales video, whether it's through a webinar, you got to be able to create a presentation, have your audience hang on to your every word where you're delivering value and make an offer and get people to take action. Not just take action any anytime, but right now. So the question is, how do you do that? How do you do that across your platform? So this is the first one. This is the, the most kind of standard type of close, which is a straight call to action. So you make that presentation and at the end of it all, you say, for those of you who take action right now, there's a button below this video. You can click on add to cart, or it could be the case that you hit over to this specific link, .com forward slash link go ahead and check out, right? So this is how this can be applied in the regular world of online marketing. But let's talk about this second close. Okay, now the second close is what I call an application or pipe piper close, which is, this is applicable when the events are much smaller. And for example here, I think this room was about maybe 100, 150 people or so. And one of the things that I do is whenever I I'm thinking about working with my ideal clients, I want to make sure that I'm not attracting nightmare clients. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever worked with a nightmare client? This is a nightmare client where, have you ever taken on a client where you know you shouldn't have, but you took them anyway 
because you wanted to make that extra sale. I know I've made that mistake as well. And one of the things that I do now to make sure that I don't work with nightmare clients or at least minimize the odds of working with a nightmare client is I get people to apply so that you fill up a form, my team gets to see and filter if they're the right fit. And if the right fit to work with each other, if I feel that I can, we can help them and get ROI for them, that's when we accept them to work together with us. So this is how it typically look like. This is called an application or pipe piper close, which is I make an offer. It's not for everybody. And I say, for those of you who want to be able to apply, you know, you can come forward and work together and decide to, to apply for this strategy call. And we'll see if you're qualified based on the form that you fill up and we'll decide if we're a good fit for each other. So normally, typically when I make this application call to action, I would have a good 80 to 90% of people apply. Now, is everybody going to be a good fit? Absolutely not. You know, there's a lot of people that might just apply because everybody seems to be applying. And we usually accept about maybe about 50% of the people that actually apply. So this is how it typically looks like. Let me just disable the sound over here. So this event over here is an event where we had like 80 plus percent of the room um, applying and there, there wasn't even a table and uh, every form indicates the intention to work on a $15,000 offer with my agency. Again, not everybody's a good fit, but this application process is an example of what it is that you could be doing. So what is this second close? It's the application close. So it could be the case that maybe you're selling real estate. It could be investments. It could be some, you could be an agency that's looking to charge, you know, $15,000 a month for your clients. It could be a $50,000 offer. It could be a $30,000 mastermind. Now, if you're selling something that's high ticket, then chances are you can't expect somebody to just click on the PayPal link and pay you, you know, $30,000, right? You, if, if you're selling a $700,000 investment, you can't expect somebody to just, you know, check out for a 700 grand. So chances are they need to apply to see if you're right fit with each other. And this is where you want to be able to make sure that you're working with the right fit. Okay, so I want you to start thinking about how does this apply to you in the online world through sales videos, through your application funnels. Okay, but this is all your high ticket offers. So this would be the second type of close, which brings us to close number three. Now this close, I call this the no close close. And this is, out, this is great if you want to be able to think about, if you have no idea what it is that you want to sell. And what if I told you that the best way is just to find out from your audience. Now this example over here is an event that I did where when I did this event, I literally just asked my audience, after this event, what do you think you need in order to be successful? What do you think you need if you wanted to accelerate and get faster results? So I had like literally people taking turns, taking the mic, telling me what it is they need. Saying like, oh, okay, I need to have this thing built. And as they're telling me whatever it is that they, they feel they need, I'm literally just putting it onto the flip charts that you see above over here. So all I'm doing over here is I am writing down what it is. And it looks a little bit blurred here, but it looks like it's copywriting, autoresponder, emails, you know, Facebook ads. So all I'm doing is I'm listening to what it is they tell me they need. I would put it onto the flip chart. And then based on what they feel will help them get the result faster, I will decide if I want to be able to create that offer. And if I did create that offer, how much the offer would be on the spot. So this is what I call the no close close, where look, I don't have an offer. You tell me what it is that you think you need and I'll tell you whether I want to be able to create an offer. So who is this great for? This is great for you if you don't even have an offer yet and if you want to sell something first. And I believe that that's one of the best ways to create an offer because that is how you're really listening to your audience in order to decide what type of offer will genuinely help them. So back to that same question again, how does this relate to you? Look, you could be selling something online and maybe you don't know what how to begin. How, so this is where you go to your audience your email list, your Facebook group, and you literally ask your audience, what do you think is required on your end in order to get results faster, right? Or how can I help you get results faster? Listen to them and what if that becomes part of your upsell. Hey, let me know in the comments below what is your biggest takeaway and how you can apply this. One of the things that we constantly do is we pick one to three different winners for our next product, event, 
live training. So if you want to begin to run and do that, just let me know in the comments below and we'll be doing our next draw real soon. And congratulations to the last few winners that when we did the last draw. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you're truly want to get good at running ads and creating offers, be sure to binge watch this entire playlist of different coaching calls that I've worked with with clients so that it can give you clarity on what you could be doing better as well.